Peter is a great basketballer and he was on a basketball scholarship at St Norbert's College here in Perth and uh, I needed a runner. I was his head of house and I needed a runner for the 400 metres in the athletics carnival. Um, and I didn't have a runner and a student suggested Peter. So um, he went off and got Peter for me and Peter ran brilliantly um, and I was shocked and surprised and uh, Peter didn't really know what the fuss was all about and I asked him to run the 800 metres then and he said, how many laps is that, miss? I said, well, that's two laps around the track. Um, and I think he beat everyone by over 100 metres. It was just uh, beautiful to watch. Wow, how remarkable. Just how talented was he as a 16-year-old? Because you then put him in touch with your late father, who was an athletics coach. Uh, no, my father wasn't uh, an athletics coach, just a, uh, I shouldn't say just, a very, very uh, avid sports fan. He, uh, Dad knew all sports very, very well. And um, and he had faith in, in my judgment when I came to him and said that uh, there was something really special about this boy. And, uh, and so my father, Brian Moore, he said, well, you know, let's help him. We need to help him. Uh, and uh, if that's what he wants. And so it, it went from there after a discussion with Peter and his family. How proud are you to see his progress? <laughs> Extremely proud. I'm, I'm buzzing. I'm, I'm very nervous about tonight. I, you know, what happens tonight, uh, it, it, it doesn't matter to me. I'm so, so proud of, of where he's got so far. He, he progressed very, very quickly early on in, um, in the juniors and uh, and since moving to Melbourne, which was a very, very big step for him, moving away from his family. Uh, since moving to Melbourne, he's just been thriving and uh, he's, uh, he's ready, he's ready for this. Do you keep in touch with him? Yes, yes, we do. We had dinner uh, a month ago and um and he just said he, he that he just he loves running he, he just loves running because my mum asked him and said peter you know you're 27 how long are you going to do this for and he said i love it i love running and he told my mother he had no regrets um from stopping basketball uh which you know he's brilliant basketballer so he said he has, he's got no regrets and uh he 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 didn't realise that he could actually do this sport for fun and he, right from the start he thought it was fun. I know you said that the result doesn't matter tonight and I think most Australians mm. would feel that way but he is a real contender in this. He could win it. He could. Uh, I think he's ready. I think he's definitely ready. He's, uh, he's come on leaps and bounds in terms of his uh, um, strategic running and races and competing overseas has really helped him with that. And uh, he's certainly not the runner from Rio in 2016, that's for sure. He's, he's very calm, he's very motivated. Uh, any, anything could happen. Peter's story has resonated with so many people. He came to Australia as a child, um, as a refugee from Sudan. There's a big Sudanese community over in Perth. Mm. How excited is everyone there to see yeah. this race tonight? <laughs> I think I think it's pretty crazy, <laughs> very crazy. Everyone is just um, beside themselves, I think. And uh, I'm trying to keep things a little low key and just with with my family, um, just uh, trying to keep the nerves at bay at the moment.